hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so today i'm going to work on this tree uh, in the last episode i converted this tree into a stylized version and today i'm going to work on this tree and convert it into a stylized version as you can see here so basically only the textures that i'm going to change here so yeah just like the other tree this tree is also from the Paragon Asset Pack. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. These generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, now today let's see how to turn this, the other tree, into a stylized looking tree. Let's first uh, open the static mesh of that tree. And this is the yeah, this is the texture, sorry, this is the material. And this is the texture. Scott Pine. Okay. Let's uh, again use the snipping tool. what happened there and take this material so take this texture like this and create a new file in Photoshop the original size is 248 by 496 so 2 by 1 by 2 well we don't need that much of a resolution because we are going for a stylized version therefore I'll create 1000 24 and 248 And paste all right okay now let's apply some filters right so this is the stylized version of the which texture T is called pine bark one right let me copy the name I'll save it as a PNG and this is that modified texture Let's use it for this material. Okay, I think it's a little too shiny and here we have a scene. Oh. Let's fix this seam. I think there is a right. There is a seam. A white line here. This should fix it. Let's re import. All right, still no. What about the other side? Oh, they are also it has it this side. What about the top side? Seems all right. Oh, we have a problem here. OK. 
Oke. Okay. Now let's go back and reimport. Right, it seems fine now. Well, still there is a visible line here. Uh, was it uh, there with the original texture? Let's see. No, it's not. Right, so we need to fix this seam. So to do that we have to make this seamless Okay, let's make it seamless Right, that seam is gone. Well, not. Alright, I forgot one thing. We have to make this transformation. Let's transform this one. Okay, seam is fixed and let's see how it looks in the world. Okay, we have the vertical seam now. Well, let's fix that too. This one. To fix that, I'll merge this into a single layer and duplicate it and move them both down like this and catch only one of them move up not both only one of them right and add a vertical transformation in the scale of minus one like this and save Here is the problem. Let's reimport this. And it's good. Alright. No more seams. Okay, the bug is fixed now. And we have to fix the leaves. And we have already fixed the leaves for this text. This uh, tree. We can reuse, should be able to reuse them here. Let's see. Scott Pine leaves one. Why do I always have to enable this detail panel? Okay, this is the texture of this. Okay, let's use this one. Right. Now it is stylized. Well, the textures are stylized, not necessarily the shader. And do I have any other trees? Well, actually, I'm not going to 
show this process for all the trees i'll stop this episode at this point and if there are any other foliages or trees i will do it off the screen because i have already shown you the process that i have i am following and then get back to you with other improvements such as uh, what are the shader changes what are the material changes that we have to do in order to get the effects as in Zelda the rendering style as in Zelda And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link could be in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.